Arranging and customizing a space to my liking has always been a hobby of mine since I was a very little kid. Many hobbies just fade away as we grow, but this one followed me for years and has taken some incredibly different forms. It has also led me to create this workspace surrounded by things I love and I admire the most. Hi, I'm Subham Rizal and in this video I'm going to show you my desk setup and give you a tour of my animation studio. I'm a designer, a content creator and I've built this space to my comfort and creative needs. My setup process began in Autodesk Maya where I first designed and rendered out the overall aesthetics of this room. The wall you see behind my setup is a custom made wooden wall with cutouts for my absolute clean cable management. I have designed some perfect raceways for my cables to run throughout the wall that has made this super wireless looking setup possible. For my desk, I wanted a solid long desk that could withstand the weight of my heavy chassis and other peripherals. I looked for many pre-built ones online but we ended up making a custom tabletop with the help of some local carpenters. With that said, let's get into the setup now. Talking about my monitor, this definitely is the heart of my setup. With its 315 nits of brightness and 27 inch of 4K panel, my renders look absolutely stunning in Maya or any other programs. This monitor is not a gaming monitor by any means, but response time as low as 5 milliseconds lets me play games without any noticeable lag in its true 4K glory. And to achieve the look you see of the overhead display here, we made some cutouts on the panel and pasted a framework around the cutout so it actually looks like a hanging frame. We have hooked a very old 32 inch TV to display the time, stats and the temps of my computer. So for my peripherals, I use this mechanical wireless keyboard from Logitech. It has got all the features I would love to have in my keyboard, except for some RGB pop and flare. That's where my other two keyboards come to rescue and help me type in the dark. As I am a sucker for this kind of low lag experience, all of my keyboards are equipped with some low lag technology from their respective companies. Out of the three, G613 is my absolute favorite. The one from Keychron lets me have a clean minimal aesthetic whereas K57 has some nice RGB backlit feature so I use them to my comfort and settings that are required. Next, I use the G903 Lightspeed Gaming Mouse from Logitech. I really dig the ambidextrous design and the form factor this mouse has to offer. I'm a claw gripper and it perfectly suits my gripping style while I'm working or trying to get some headshots right. I really love the sweep scroll system which helps me scroll in super speed when browsing or going through long notes, documents and articles. Let me show you these edifiers that I really enjoy. I love the wooden finish on the top and the sides. It has a really good range of detail and audio across the bass, mids and the highs. Well, you can expect the kicks of a dedicated subwoofer, but for 100 bucks, these are the best sounding speakers with decent enough bass. My choice of headphones has been Sennheiser's HD 598 SR for many years now. Since the headphone is an open ear kind, there's a better sound stage and you can feel the clear distinction of sound coming from each instrument or whatever the sound source may be. Now let's talk about the powerhouse of my setup. Running this PC is a Ryzen 3700X CPU from AMD. This is my first time using an AMD CPU. I could go with Team Blue with the 9900K but for a similar performance, going with Ryzen was almost 100 bucks cheaper. I'm keeping the system cooled with the NZXT Kraken X62 AIO. For memory, I'm using a 16 gigs of Trident Z near clocked at 3600 MHz. I'm also using an EVGA RTX 2080 Super for the GPU. I've got an additional GTX 760 to speed up my render times in 3D applications. And here are the benchmarks. All of this is on a Gigabyte Aorus Elite X570 motherboard. And it's housed on this monster of a case H500P mesh from Cooler Master.
If you have any questions about this video, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer them all. This was my first video. I hope you all like it. Give this video a like and please don't forget to subscribe. That really help my channel grow and bring you more tech related content. Stay safe, stay connected and see you in the next one.